Yo guys, welcome to your 19th PSD to WordPress lesson and in this video I want to talk about WordPress's template hierarchy. Okay then, so we've done the footer.php and we've done the header.php of the theme. Now we have to start making the different pages, okay, and coding the different page templates that WordPress uses. Now, I've downloaded this image from the WordPress Codex website and I'll leave a link to that page down below so you can go and check it out by the way because it's pretty useful. But basically, I just wanted to use this image to describe to you how WordPress picks a different template file in the theme directory uh, depending on which URL or page you visit, okay? Now, typically speaking, these deeper blue page templates over here come installed or come with most WordPress themes as standard, right? And these ones over here are custom uh, templates that we can use to override these ones. So basically, you've got all these different kinds of pages on your WordPress site. And the first one is the archive page. We'll start at the top. So an archive page can be either an author archive, a category archive, a custom post or taxonomy, date archive or tag archive, right? So for example, we'll start at the top again, author, arch uh, author archive, yeah. Now, say I wrote a load of posts on this resto website. Now, if my author name was NetNinja, right, then the first template that WordPress would look for if you clicked on NetNinja would be author-netninja.php. And this nice name variable here is just going to be the author name. So if you clicked on NetNinja, this is going to be Net Nin uh, NetNinja. If you clicked on Bob, this is going to be Bob. All right. So whatever the author name is going to substitute it there. So if it finds that template file in the WordPress uh, theme folder, then it's going to use that template file to show that page. Now, in our theme directory so far, we don't have this. We don't at all. So what we do is move on to the next one. And then WordPress would look for author hyphen ID. And that ID variable is the ID of the author in the WordPress admin area. Now, if I was the first author to be created, then my ID would probably be one. So it'd be author hyphen one dot PHP. So if it finds that, then it'd use that template file to display the page. Now, again, we don't have that one. So it moves on to the next one, author dot PHP. So if it finds author.php, then it's just going to use that for the author uh, archive. And again, we don't have that one. So it moves on to this one, which we do have archive.php. So then it shows that or it uses that template to show the author um, page. OK, so that's what we're currently using for our author archive. Same for the category archive. If there is a category, for example, called latest news. Then the first template it's going to look for is category hyphen slug. And this slug is just the name of the category, but it substitutes spaces and replaces them with hyphens. So if the category is latest news, the slug would be uh, latest hyphen news. So the first template file WordPress would look for would be category hyphen latest hyphen news dot PHP. And then it would use that template to display the latest news category. OK, so we don't have this one. So then it would go on to the next one. Category hyphen ID. Again, the idea of the category. We don't have this template. So then it goes on to this category dot PHP. Again, we don't have that template. At least I don't think. Let's just double check. Uh, see, no, we don't. So again, it just moves on to the archive.php, which we use for the category as well. So we're currently using this archive.php to display author archives and category archives, right? But if we wanted to display a particular category of posts differently, for example, uh, our website.com forward slash category forward slash latest news, and we wanted to display that differently than all the other category pages, we could use or we could create a template file called category-latest-news.php and then make our own template file for that one category. So it's going to overwrite all the other files and use that one. But if you go on another category archive, it's still going to use this archive.php. All right, make sense? So the same goes for pretty much all of these here as well. We just move along from left to right depending on which file that we have. Okay, so the second type of template I want to talk about is the singular page. And this is actually split up into two types. You've got the single post page and the static page. And remember, these are split up in the back end of WordPress. The posts are here and the pages are here. Now, the posts will be used for things like blog posts or news items and the pages for more permanent features like an About Us page. All right. So 
if we look at these, the single post page is split up into these three different things. You've got attachment posts for things like image or video pages, things like that, custom posts, and then blog posts. Now, most of the time, it's going to be this blog post or custom post maybe. And the blog post, if we go across here, is going to look for the single hyphen post.php template file. Now, we don't have that. So we look for the single.php, which we do have, and that's the template we're using for the blog posts, okay? Now, the static page type looks for a page template, and that could either be a custom template or a default template. Now, I'm not going to talk about this too much for now. Maybe later I will. But if it's the default template, which is basically what we're using at the minute, then it's going to look for page-slug.php. So if we had a page called, I don't know, um, hello world, then it would be page hyphen hello hyphen world dot php. We could make that file in the template, um, sorry, in the theme directory, and it would use that as the template. So if it doesn't find that, then it's going to use the page id dot php. And if it doesn't find that, then it's going to fall back to this page dot php, okay, which we're currently using uh, for all of our pages. Now, this one is the site front page. And it's going to look first of all for front-page.php and we're actually going to make this in the next tutorial. Uh, this is why I wanted to show you this whole image first of all. Um, if it doesn't find that, which we don't currently have, then it's going to look for whether the front page in WordPress is either set up as a page, or like a static page, or to show the latest posts. Now, if it's set up as a static page, it just goes up here and it carries on the page template hierarchy. If it's the posts, then it's going to go forward and use this home.php template, which we don't actually have. And if you don't have that, it's going to use this index.php template. Okay. Now, you'll notice that this index.php template is like the catch-all. If it can't find any other template file, then it will use this index.php uh, template. So it's really important that you have one of these in your theme. And in earlier tutorials, I've been saying that this is what we're using for our homepage. And yes, it is. The index.php is currently showing our homepage, but that's only because we don't have this one in our theme directory. And it's not set up as a custom uh, page. So it's the post that it's currently set up as. So it's looking for this, not finding it, and then using this instead. But like I say, we're going to override that in the next tutorial. And we're going to make this template file so we can have a totally different template for just our front page. Okay? So we've also got these ones down here as well, which just lead right over to these pages there. And uh, again, we've got the index.php as a catch-all. So... Might be a little bit confusing, but just have a look through this. Make yourself familiar with it and the hierarchy that WordPress uses. And if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to drop a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, I'll see you in that very next tutorial where we're going to make this front-page.php for the homepage of our WordPress website. I'll see you guys then.